long. But if, if you ever get the opportunity, um, track these down, okay? Take a look at them. Uh, now, here's one. I, I used to know the names of these. I want this to be in, in focus. I don't know how close I can get to this. It's got the uh, fluorescent blue and green, light green, right? And it's got the uh, layers to it. You can see here, right? Take a look. You got the green, blue, green. It's beautiful. And under certain type of lighting, absolutely magnificent, right? So let's put this on the table. This is sort of medium size. We got, uh, I'm pretty sure this is quartz. Very nice. Here's another uh, quartz crystal. I think it's quartz. All right. And uh, one thing that uh, we have are these uh, mineral crystal balls. I don't know what this is, uh, but they're beautiful. Um, let me take a look at that. All right. Awesome. Let's put this guy there. Are they both quartz? I don't know. Beautiful, they reflect the light. Wow. Nice. Let's put this guy here. Oof, look at this one. Now that's marble. Um, that's granite, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know what the name of these green crystals are. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. See if you can see it in the uh, focus. They have the the crystal formed. You know, like a. I forgot the technical names for these. I should know because I teach math. These are like uh, the crystal formations. It looks like uh, tetrahedrons they form and the way it works uh, with crystals beautiful the way it works with crystals um, if uh, the, the molten rock the magma uh, in the magma chamber or whatever it is right wherever the molten rock is cooling if it's got certain types of chemicals that sort of dictates what kind of crystals what kind of minerals you get right obviously because that's what it's made out of right and the size of the crystals you know if they're small crystals or large crystals and that's dependent on um, the rate of cooling so if something cools really really slow molten rock with a certain type of mineral composition uh, these minerals these crystals uh, have some kind of you know depending on what what they are they have a geometric pattern that they grow right it's like tetris pieces that fit together but they're sort of all the same uh same angles right same same chemical compounds uh so they have the same form just being built on top of each other and that decides sort of what kind of crystals you get and if it's cooling really slowly then the the minerals come on to it slowly and they have time to build another layer another layer connect up again so they you know you could get huge crystal structures huge or very very small right? look at this beautiful nice green i don't know what the name of this is uh, and you can get different types of uh, different types of uh crystals forming that are basically the same same uh, same family right like you could have a quartz but depending on what type of minerals were inside the magma chamber that they were cooling in 
um, they had access to, you get different types of courts, right? You could have rose court where it's got a sort of a pinkish um, tint to it or, you know, different types of mineral heavy quartz, right? And I believe this is a quartz as well. I don't know what the green is. Uh, take a look at this crystal. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the structure on it, right? And their names. When I was studying this, it was very difficult for me to remember the names. As you know, I'm very bad with names. Um, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Right? That's the crystal structure. Beautiful. Let me show you this. I believe this is a rose quartz. Right? It's got a pinkish tint to it. Beautiful. Right? Like amazing. Amazing. And then another smaller, uh, I don't know what this one is. It's got a purplish tint. Right? And these look amazing with light shining through them, right? Uh, you know, the fireplace light is not powerful enough for you to see. Because you can see more detail within. Let's see. I actually have one of these in my collection as well. Uh, I really like this one. It forms, uh, sometimes it forms very, very nice crystal faces, right? The faces on it, smooth. And each one, some of these crystals, they have specific angles, right? that we study in mathematics uh, and we take a look at them. Look at this one, bubbly. Homo, heim, oh, hemar, oh, it starts with an H, this one. H-O something, I think. Beautiful, beautiful. lights right. or holders for tea lights right if you ever burn uh, tea lights candles never leave them alone right never leave a candle tea light burning in your space without you being there uh, I've actually had tea lights catch fire on me uh, so they could be very dangerous uh, if you're not around, you want to be careful with fire. Uh, so those, when I say the tea light catching fire on me, when the candle and the tea light just, you know, when it burns, it becomes liquid. I've had the metal part of the tea lights catch fire and uh, they burn pretty heavy, uh, difficult to put out sometimes, and they spread really fast. There's some kind of chemical within the tea lights, right? Uh, so be careful. Here's another one. Pretty. <laughs> nice. And brass and metal. Metal, candles, and crystals. And plants, of course, right? Look at this. Beautiful. Look at the formation of that crystal. Or those crystals. Right? Beautiful. Pretty positive. This is quartz, right? Look at that. This is even a crack here. Like the faces didn't grow together, right? Like the full crystal. This is a full crystal, full crystal, full crystal, full crystal, and the little ones beside them. This would have cooled uh, pretty slow. Lots of little tea lights in this one. Take a look. 
beautiful as well. The, the boxes that have larger crystals, they contain less number of crystals because they're really heavy. So once they reach the certain weight with the boxes, I put in other stuff uh, because you really don't wanna be lifting. So I don't know, this might be a quartz on the bottom, but on the top is mineralization of something else. It's got a sort of a pinkish feel to it. Now what we'll be doing uh, before we put these out, uh, you know, wherever they belong in this space, right? We're definitely gonna give these guys a wipe um, because there's a little dust on them, right? So when you give them a wipe, get rid of some of the dust or give them a wash, right? Uh, they become seriously very, very bright. They reflect really well. Beautiful. Flat bottom. I should be putting some of these little guys up here, shouldn't I? Just so we know. Arrange these. This one is nice too. This is for this. It's heavy like these things are heavy right look at the beautiful faces rock we showed you like your big color on that right absolutely beautiful so this one is uh, similar to this guy right but this guy has a lot more of the solid green in there all right so this might have cooled slower Possibly. And this one's uh, more purple. So it might have not just had the chemicals required to make the green. So that's how many I was able to fit into that roll. Pack it tight, but make sure you're protecting the crystals. Pretty. 
very pretty. Let's put these little guys here. Ah, actually, let's put them in the jar. That way they're together, the little guys. More sounds. And they have writing on them. I don't know what they say. And they got writing on the inside. A little bit of that. nice sounds. T lights, T lights, T lights. Let's put these on the ground. Let's put this one on the ground too. This is a mineral crystal that's been cut like this. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Let's put this guy up here. That deserves on the top level, right? Let's not get this. I know this one. Look at that. It's got a sort of a purple to it tint to it and this is the formation of the crystal it's actually forming with these angles right just one place where mathematics comes into play right nature beautiful just one of the reasons we study this in mathematics if you want to get into the earth sciences, into geology and whatnot, you need to know this. Building, architecture, right? If you can work with natural minerals, crystals, beautiful. Let's put this in here as well. Actually, let's put this guy up here. Okay, I'm gonna take this big guy down here from here. Put that there and reserve this for the little guys. It's like, it's like I want to go to the next box and just opening things up as they go. Look at this. Beautiful. This thing grew like this. And it's got uh, some kind of uh, mineral trapped inside. See the black there? Right. So it picked up some minerals that were there, some crystals that were there. And I'm pretty positive this is a quartz. Okay, this guy goes up here too. Let's uh, let's crack open some of the other boxes. Pretty. Right. Let's put this guy down. Ooh. Not meant to be rotating. These are just little hedgehog things that go inside each other. And these guys, uh, this is sort of like the holder for these guys, the balls. You can actually put the large ones on there too, right? So just like that. I'm gonna put this one here so it doesn't.
Nice crystal, nice faces, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Right. Beautiful. Let's put this guy up here. Now we won't go into these ones. Look at this. <laughs> oh, I should have brought a flashlight and shown it to you through the light. Maybe next time, yeah. We'll grab some of these and shine the light through them. With the appropriate lighting, it should come out nice. Look at this one. Wow, beautiful. I'm taking a look at myself under the light. Yeah, I think uh, maybe. If my partner is okay with it, we'll grab a flashlight and shine a light through each one container with more crystals inside minerals let's just pick one there's one black look at this one wow look at this crystal formed and another mineral is forming around it so we've got purple on the inside and then green forming on the outside, some other mineral coming in. Wow, nature is incredible. And once you learn, if you ever, you know, decide to study some of the stuff, once you learn how these things form and the chemicals that go in there and the bonding and the mathematics, the angles behind them and stuff, wow. And again, mathematics, a lot of mathematics here, music, right? These are just waves, trigonometry, right? These are like basically sine and cosine and tangent waves mixed together and just making music, right? As we're talking about in the language of mathematics, we're doing a whole series on trig. Uh, the three things that we've done. So just, uh, just beautiful, really. Nature, mathematics, crystals, sound, waves, plants, Fibonacci sequence, right? Huge, uh, the golden ratio, huge, huge relationship to how plants grow, right? So we talked, uh, we did a little video on uh, the Fibonacci sequence and uh, the golden triangle, golden ratio, right? And with math in real life, with uh, my artist friend. <laughs> right. Wow. Beautiful. some kind of mineralization here sort of a greenish tint to it cool okay let's put this one on the ground
knickknacks. Feldspar, I don't know. Tea light holder. Oh, this is actually salt. This should be salt, right? I could lick it <laughs> to give the flavor of the salt. <laughs> salt right awesome yeah actually we've seen that you know in a few videos we have a sort of a salt can a salt light bulb right where it's a big salt piece and they drilled in and got a light bulb on the inside gives out amazing light <laughs> triple Biosonic, it states four two two five eight seven. Biosonic, biosonic. This is yeah. Could be the chemical composition. I think they're all the same. Not sure. There's three of them together. Right. Let's put these guys here. As well as rocks and crystals, the driftwood. Nice thing to pack up top, on top of a box of crystals because it's light. Look at this one, <laughs> beautiful. Right, it's a root, very light, very light. Look at this one, beautiful. Another cut piece, formed. Anyway. This piece is magnificent. This is uh, uh, oh, what is the name? I think it's called Fool's Gold. Well, it is called Fool's Gold, but uh, it's called uh, the official name. I forget what it is. It's uh, it forms into cubic. Uh, might not perfect cubes. I'm not sure what the structure is on it. Into these crystals and. Um, when people were exploring for gold in the gold rush, some people confused this with gold when they were harvesting it. Obviously, it's cut into the round piece, but in nature, it occurs in little flakes and boxes, crystal structures. Uh, so people that didn't know, uh, they would think that this was gold. Uh, that's what they gave it, you know, called fool's gold. But there's a technical name for it. I used to know it. There's another rock. That's a crystal. I mean, that's a... Candle holder. Nice, got a companion. Nice. Look at this. Beautiful. Purple sort of color to it. Amazing crystal formations. Beautiful faces. Well formed. Very well formed. Look at this. Green color, lots of little crystals on it. Some other yellow mineral formalization, mineralization on top. I don't know what this is. Beautiful. Let's put this guy here, it's a little fragile. some kind of purple mineral in it. See the crystal faces, right? The structure that is forming. Beautiful. It's almost like this one there. Very similar, a little different. But very similar. The 
Could be the same. Yeah. The crystal structure is a little different. This is metal. This is probably brass, I think. It should be. Where are we going to put this piece? This I forget what these are called. I have these in my collection as well. Beautiful. It's called striations going upwards. Very nice. This part is smooth. This might be some form of feldspar, I don't know. Let's put the scale down. Look at this. Large, I believe these are some kind of quartz and then they have so the, the larger crystals, these guys formed early on, I believe. And then the liquid rock, the magma, um, would have started cooling faster and you get little crystals forming on top of the bigger crystals. Just beautiful. I'm pretty sure that's the way it formed. Right. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Driftwood. Little guys. So I don't know if I can, like there's dozens upon dozens in here. It's just a layer whoosh, whoosh, cut from a larger piece. Let's put that there. Should we put these up top here? Should we just lay some of them out? It's nice having these little pieces. It's just laid out. Take a look and see. Different colors. Beautiful. Yeah, very nice. Sort of yellowish tint. Brown. Look at this one. Look at the crystal formations on it. better like this, like this. Maybe. Look at the different minerals in this. You got green, fluorescent blue, orange, white, black. as well. There's greenish crystals on it. <laughs> Here's another one. This is like goodie bugs. Just beautiful colors, right? Let's go this guy here. Here's a pink one. Cheers. 
So a little tray like this that holds a few of those little guys. The big hedgehog. Let's put this guy. These are the little holders for the the round, the round guys. So let's put these down. Let's put a couple of little round guys like these guys. Wow, look at this. Magnificent. Basically sits like this, right? Pretty. Pretty. This one's cut like that, or polished like that. Beautiful. Two different guys. Mineralization. See a little bit of sticks with me. Just a little guy. It's like green. Dark green. Take on this one. Alright, cut to the form of holding in your fist with your fingers. Alright. It's like a gaming joystick, but different. Let's put this here. 
This doesn't get hurt. Beautiful. It's cut like that. Beautiful. That is his natural structure. Perfect. Beautiful. What's the name of this in mathematics? I forget. There would be a rhombus like this, I believe. What is a 3D rhombus? What's a 3D rhombus called? Amazing. So it's got the rusty feel. So I believe this is quartz that's formed. That's got a little bit of iron in it. So it looks rusty. Incredible. Huh? Here's another guy. Just a little crystal. Here's a bigger crystal. And another crystal growing into it. This is like the other box that we skipped. There was a layer of like medium sized stuff. So we'll just take a look at this. We'll finish off this box. All right. Beautiful. Black. I'll put it in front of me so you see it. Black in front of black. Pretty. Seriously, like the blackness of this, the dark is incredible. These all have technical names. I wish I knew them. Beautiful. These guys, these hedgehogs are good for these guys too. Striations on this. I believe this is lava. I think we've seen some lava rock. Um, it's got like the plastic feel to it. And then this is uh, this is mica. It forms in sheets. Crystallizes and sheets is really cool. You can get different color ones. Um, the most common, I believe, is the um, sort of silver looking one. This has got a bluish tint to it. Very cool. Let's put this guy 
here. crystals running out of room. with crystals on top of crystals. Look at the crystal faces on these. Of these fluorescent looking ones. And another heart. There's the other one. Beautiful. Perfect cube. Wow. 
and then there's little ones here see that one there's another one in there but wow <sighs> beautiful planet we live on eh? incredible natural form like that lots of striations crystals I forget what this is called beautiful that's a lot of crystals beautiful crystals okay. um, hopefully at some point I'll get a chance to go through these and learn the names and you know maybe we'll update this video uh, with a list of the names in the comments or just upload a different one same one with all the names at the bottom as we're looking at the crystals i don't know uh there's a lot here okay um i hope you enjoyed and thank you to uh, my absolutely amazing amazing beautiful partner for um, letting us take a look at this right um, it's a treasure a personal treasure for her and for me as well uh, taking years to collect years to put together and that's the beauty of things right uh, slowly you build over time and it's uh, it's nice doing it that way right each piece has meaning each piece uh, you know fits in with another piece right uh, absolutely beautiful that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.